The next skill that it's absolutely imperative that you establish in your running backs is the ability to block. And to block, we've used a shield, an elongated shield, a board, and we use a bag holder and one, one running back. We do this individually so there's no chance of people falling into each other and getting hurt. The reason we use the board is just so the back will keep his feet apart and keep a good solid base. Okay? And as we talked about earlier with offensive line play, you've got to keep a base. You just have to keep a base in order to be a good blocker. Okay, this is the right shoulder block with the shield. And again, we don't take the middle. We'll take a side, right side or left side. Okay. We'll get in a good hitting position. We'll strike up and we'll accelerate and run through the block as we develop this skill. Okay, right shoulder block. Break. Go. Dip, leverage, work up, 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 up. Good job. Now we'll do the same blocking drill because running black backs will have to block from either shoulder, right or left. We'll do the same blocking drill with the left shoulder. Break. Go. Work up, 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 up. Good job. Good job. That's a way to accelerate full speed and finish the block. You've got to emphasize blocking to running backs. It's got to be a team effort. They run the football. People block for them. When others carry the ball, at times it's necessary that they block for others.